environment includes the land, the soil, and the air itself. So when you throw plastics all over the place, they don't get decomposed. They are persistent pollutants. And so the soil fertility will also be reduced as a result of these materials because they, con they contain chemicals. Plastics are made of chemicals, some of which are not are harmful to, to plant life. Plastics are good when you go to the market, you can use them, you carry your things. But if you bring them back home and then you throw them to the, to the ground, to your surrounding, they are really very bad. They are bad in the sense that they cover the soil, and then when they cover, the soil is covered, the soil has no environment or space to breathe. That covers the vegetation and for a very long time, after a, long, a very long time, the vegetation will die. And if this continues for the next five to ten years, and then it's going to be a tragedy for the country. There was a time when there was no plastic at all in the Nile Basin. We have lived without it for millennia. Now, why do we have plastic? It is not easily biodegradable. It doesn't break down easily. If you put it there, it might take a hundred or a thousand years. Even if it breaks down, fish might eat it, it gets into the food cycle and we will end up eating it, poisoning ourselves. There are many elements in plastic that cause cancer. But why do, why do we need this um, plastic? For frivolous purposes, for carrying water. But we used to carry water in clay pots, which are natural soil products. Yes, traditionally our grandmothers and our mothers have been going, have been using something called gupa. Gupa is something you use the leaves from the farm, farm tree. You go and, and uh, make these leaves, there is a way they make them, and then it becomes gupa, a bark that can be used again and again and again. It can be used for almost five years. If our people can resort to these old ways of doing things, they can make... Uh, bags that they can use for carrying things and by doing that uh, the use of plastics bag and the use of uh, other bags plastics can be discouraged in South Sudan. Like before we come back to our pristine way of living we do not need to imitate everything from the rest of the world that's harmful. There are no factories that recycle the plastic bags or plastic bottles in Juba? No, no way. But also with the lack of uh, recycling plants, all these plastics are being littered. In the end, they find themselves in uh, streams, our main streams in Juba. And during the rainy season, all these plastic bottles are washed into the river, causing a lot of uh, pollution of uh, and you know that the River Nile is very important and, uh, and we have the largest uh, wetlands in Africa, which is the Sud. I have heard officials in South Sudan uh, citing that they want to look, they want Juba to look, to, to, to look like Rwanda or Kigali in one way or the other because people are now are trying to get rid of the plastics, uh, plastic bags and plastic bottles. So the government in 2015 came up with a ministerial order banning the use and importation of plastic bags in the country. And the Council of Ministers endorsed that, uh, that uh, order of the minister, and now it is forbidden for anyone to be using plastic bags in the country. Uh, now in Juba, we have introduced the biodegradable ones in order to make sure it reduces the, the pollution in the climate. We have done this because at the moment we don't have any uh, good waste management system or recycling. That's why the only thing is to burn it. Uh, burning plastic materials will give rise to atmospheric pollution because, like I told you before, these plastic materials are made of chemicals and once they are burned, that soot that is projected into the air is a pollutant and it is harmful to human health.